In this video, you will predict a numerical value based on a series of variables, check the accuracy of your predictions, and analyze how the variables influence your predictions. Let's use the following scenario. Imagine that you are working for a sales department. You want to use the past pipeline of sales to predict the deal values for the next quarter. In your CRM system, you have collected historical sales data from previous quarters on customers and the products they bought. You have prepared a dataset with this information and have uploaded it into SAP Analytics Cloud. To address your business issue, you have created a regression predictive scenario. You have used your prepared dataset as the input dataset and you have selected deal value as the target because this is what you want to predict. You have trained your predictive model and now have several reports that will help you to evaluate the level of trust you can have in your future predictions and understand the relationships between the deal values and the other variables. The Overview tab gives you an estimation of the model accuracy and lets you know which variables influence the deal values the most. Predictive Power measures the ability of your predictive model to determine the deal values using the variables present in your dataset. The closer it gets to 100% the better. Your predictive model obtains 84.61%, which is a good value. Prediction confidence indicates if you can reliably use your predictive model to predict the future deal values. Your predictive model has reached an excellent level with 99.09%. With the section variable contributions, you can quickly identify the top five variables which influence the deal values the most. As you can see, the customer segment has a huge impact on the deal values at the level of 44.94%. The second influencer is the number of licenses with 18.71%. Predicted versus actual graph shows the prediction accuracy of your predictive model. It displays the actual deal values as a function of predicted deal values. The values produced by your predictive model appear in blue and are compared to the values of a hypothetical perfect model in green. Air min and air max appear as dotted blue curve lines and show the range for the actual deal values. The area between air min and air max represents the expected deviation of the current predictive model. It's the confidence interval around the predictions. It's an easy way to quickly see the model error. If the blue curve and the green curve are very different, then the predictive values are not reliable and you need to improve your predictive model. But it is not the case for our example. If you navigate to the Variable Contributions tab, you can get details on the influence of each variable containing your data set on the deal values. For example, country has no influence at all. In Grouped Category Influence, if you select the Customer segment, for example, you will get the detail of each segment of this category and see how they influence the deal value. The segment Fortune 500 has a strong positive influence, whereas the two others, Enterprise and SMB, have negative influence. This means that the segment Fortune 500 will pull the deal value higher up. You need to pay attention to this segment. You want to see more on Smart Predict or SAP Analytics Cloud? Look at the SAP Analytics channel on YouTube or visit our SAP Help Portal.